What? Use the All the air can't rescue. swim? <laughs> Jessica and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. In the last episode, we've dealt with a lot more um, enemies this time around, but Al Mulahim has been acting very weird uh, by saying really cryptic things and kind of like he's kind of making me suspect him. And I know the whole point of Assassin's Creed, nobody's good or bad, so like I wouldn't be surprised if this guy has like ulterior motives just because he keeps contradicting himself. But I feel like we're getting straight to the truth because. Even Altair is kind of questioning, like, what is he even doing? Like, why does he have to kill all these people when they're saying all these, like, weird things before they die? And then on the flip side, we got Desmond. He's co completely confused and I don't blame him. And it seems like the assassins are coming to save him. So I don't know what that's going to be about. But I'm kind of excited to see what will happen next. If you guys have been enjoying my Assassin's Creed videos, remember to leave a like on it. It does help support the channel and lets me know if you guys want more episodes. All right, the following morning. So Lucy said, the answers are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Again, we found something in the closet. Don't know what that is, but I'm hoping it's from her and she's actually gonna help us. Okay, I see nobody's coming to rescue Missed me. Missed you so. this morning, Doc. Get in the animus. <laughs> He's so mean. Can I talk to you, Lucy? What about you? Freaking doctor. What did I just do? What is that? Wait. I thought we were gonna talk. Okay. <laughs> what I love about that, Doctor had no reaction. Come on, he must have felt the pen coming out of his pocket. Um, if I remember correctly from Lucy's like emails, the the pens are like, like their login key, I guess. Because remember they said, don't, don't drop it in the parking lot. You have to take better care of it. So it's a significant thing. Maybe I can unlock a door or something. Wait, All right. Wait. Damn, relax. I'm going in. What the He's throwing now. I trust you're well rested. Ready for your remaining trials. Yeah, I sure. Am. I just don't but trust I'd you. I'll speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do Maybe my best to answer. The merchant no, king won't. of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. Mm -hmm. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, hey, wanted to holding? claim their cities in the Templar name. What was that? that? The Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. Um... What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? <laughs> this piece of silver <laughs> cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War. So basically it's like poor control, control into right? Iron. Which it is seems what rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? Say. He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Mm. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing Again, for this something. guy eavesdropping. <laughs> but what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Uh, Which is what I've comment, had you but... doing. Uh -huh, to finish. There are two more Templars who require your attention. Okay. One in Akka, known as Sibran. Okay. One in Damas, called Jubair. Okay. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success, 
His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, I mean, I'm not that I great at assassinating. <laughs> gratitude for the good work you've done. I was gonna say, um, his comment, uh, Altair saying like, oh, these people shouldn't have the piece of Eden back and they have to be safe with us. How, what makes you say that the, the Creed, the Assassin's Creed are the right people to have this? And it goes back to like the whole theme of this. A lot of people in this game have good intentions, but the way that they go about it is wrong because they kind of like take it too far. I personally feel like no human should have that kind of control because that's basically turning yourself into a god. You know, where you're controlling everything. Okay, so it's been like, oh, I know this is based on like, you know, like Christianity. And there's other cultures that kind of have like a similar story as well. But the whole thing of like uh, the Apple of Eden and stuff, the temptation of Adam and Eve and you know that whole story I I grew up Catholic so I've like heard about this like my entire life it's been a while since because I'm I'm no longer like practicing as a Catholic or anything like that but like it's been a while since I've heard it so I'm just gonna like pull up the whole story in case you don't know I know it's not exactly one-to-one -one of the game but I know the game takes inspiration from it so this is a biblical story from the book of Genesis places the first man and woman Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden where they may eat the fruit of many trees, but are forbidden by God to eat the one from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. In Genesis 3, a serpent tempts the woman, and it says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Desiring this knowledge, the woman eats the forbidden fruit and gives some to the man, who also eats it. They become aware of their nakedness and make fig light leaf clothes and hide themselves when God approaches. When confronted, Adam tells God that Eve gave him the fruit to eat. And Eve tells God that the serpent deceived her into eating it. God then curses the serpent, the woman, then the man, and expels the man and woman from the garden for they ate of the tree of eternal life. Bringing it to the game specifically, it's having the whole knowledge of like what good and evil is. And since the morality in general with people, not everybody views what is good is certainly good or what is evil is certainly evil. We all have different interpretations of that, right? Bringing these two factions, the Assassin's Creed and the Templars, obviously they're both going to have different views as to what they think is good and what they think is bad. Like Lucy was saying in present day, they want to do good things, but they're just going wrong about it. They're going to the extreme by taking the piece of Eden which is what they're looking for. Desmond just has no clue. And they want to control everybody by obeying them as to what is good and evil. But that's not really how you live. Sure, you may say, oh, there may be no wars or no things happening in the world, but you take away humanity. Because what humanity is, is giving us our, you know, our conscience, having a moral ground, even if it may look bad to others or may look really good to others regardless of the way you look at it humanity is diverse on that reason and as, as terrible as it is yes people are not going to agree on everything which is why we have so many wars and so many like conflicts around but i personally don't think anybody should have this kind of power and uh, we can't trust that the creed is doing the right thing either because even altair is questioning it like why are we doing it this way but now he's thinking oh crap the templars are trying to take it so i gotta obey the boss but he doesn't really know everything because again nobody's answering his questions i don't know i think that's what i really like about this series at least the first game is just the fact that you can interpret this in any way you can you can say the assassins are great or they're bad or you can say the templars are great or they're bad it's just like there's no straight answer and it's it makes you question a lot of things and i really really like that because you, you can you know analyze this from different angles Angles. and you guys know that i love making theories and stuff like that so i think it's pretty cool that this game especially back then in 2007 makes you think a lot about not only like what's happening in the game but you can relate this to reality too because it's pretty accurate you know okay i'll go to damascus first i guess i don't really know if it matters but we'll take it one at a time take you these targets out and to block maybe we'll get some more answers <laughs> Hey, best friend. It's the hero of Damas. Come <laughs> in, stay a while. Tell me all about your adventures. I'm afraid I don't have the time. No. I see. We got another Too target. Important for me now. It's not that. Nope, nope, of course not. How may I serve you then? 
and Muallam has asked I take the life of the one they call Jubayer. Ah, Salah Adin's chief scholar. Strange choice of target, in my opinion. But Why? who are we to question the master's will? We should! He has his reasons. <laughs> then you're familiar with the man. He's been quite busy these past few days, organizing the scholars and sending them into the streets to preach. What do they speak of? Light and fire, cleansing sins, apocalyptic nonsense, if you ask me. All this talk of paths and a new world. What about this new world? Couldn't say, I don't pay attention to the ramblings of madmen. Much too busy with real work. Very well. I'll walk among the people, see what I can learn. Where would you suggest I search? South of here, you'll find an academy and a guard tower. They're okay. both good places to search. There's also a hospital to the east you might want to visit. I'll begin at once. Okay. So eager. South and east. You've certainly changed, and for the better, I might add. Well, thank you. I'm glad you noticed and you're not being rude about it. But what he said was kind of interesting. I don't know why we're picking this target, but I'm sure he has his reasons. And it kind of goes with, like, how humanity is with, like, this mob mentality. Maybe this is, like, a far-fetched example, but I feel like when people have their own group, whether it's, like, a fandom, your friends, your family, um, your classmates, your co-workers, you have a certain way that you start acting where sometimes your opinions mirror whoever, like, whatever group you're a part of. So, example, you may first, at first, you may think something different, but then your friends might say something else They have a different opinion. Then you start to think, oh, maybe they're right. And then you kind of agree with that. I know I've been like that, especially when I was younger. It was hard for me to, like, have my own opinion. And I guess it comes with, like, I want to fit in. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people were like that, especially when you're younger. You want to fit in with the, uh, with the people you're around, right? So I feel like that's kind of like the same mentality when it comes to the creed. Like, nobody is willing to question them, except for Altair. Like, we already established this man is kind of like an arrogant bad boy, <laughs> pretty much. He goes against the rules. Even from the beginning, he's not supposed to kill the innocent. He's not supposed to, like, do in turn of the creed. He has to do as he's told, but he didn't do any of that stuff. They punished him for it. And I feel like this really attains to real life because I feel like it's very important for people to question things and have like a diverse knowledge and information of certain topics which is why i always say like don't you know discredit people who are having like a different opinion of you which is why i always welcome discussions on my channel that's kind of like the whole purpose of my videos right we talk about the video games but we also like talk about what you guys think compared to like what i what i think and it's okay if you don't agree with me i don't want people to be like oh yeah jess i agree with you great opinion it's okay to have your own opinion it goes without saying for anything else even for your friends family whatever you know you shouldn't have to like mirror everybody else to fit in i think it's very healthy to have different opinions to question things Things, to get more information and to change your mind because I feel like uh, nowadays people are very scared to change their mind or like get new information about certain things because they don't want to be seen like they're trying to be offensive or they're wrong they want to fit in same goes for like the creed right I think the creed just wants to maintain their appearance as the good guys which is why everybody in the creed's like oh we're not gonna question it Al said that we have to kill this guy okay we're gonna kill him even though I don't get it, we'll still do it anyway. I think that's the problem. They're trying to maintain the image of they're the good guys. Because the Templars, in their eyes, are the bad guys. But, like I said earlier, that's not the case with everybody. Everybody's neutral in this game. I like that so far some of the characters are questioning it, but they're still going along with it. But we still have Altair just going against everything. Being like, what the f***? Like, what's happening? Why won't nobody answer me? Please, I must right. go. This letter must be delivered, pickpocket. and I cannot risk upsetting him. Listen to yourself. You are his puppet. Give up this task and join us in our fight. No. I have a wife and child to think of. Which is exactly why I've come to you. Is this the kind of world you want your son brought up in? It will pass. If you just wait, he'll stop, and everything will go back to normal. Every day, more is lost and no way to reclaim what's taken. There will be no going back. You know this to be true. Enough. I am leaving. Okay. I just gotta pickpocket this man. All right. 
Oh wait, I'm, am I being watched? This is tough. He keeps looking back. Okay, I gotta be careful because like there's a lot of guards near me. Oh, I'm not looking at you. Sir. I'm just praying. I'm just a praying man. <laughs> Literally praying upon you. Away with you. All right. I wish to see him. To hear him speak. It can be arranged, but we must be careful. There are still those who reject illumination. They would harm him. And they are ignorant and afraid. You seem sincere, but how do I know I can trust you? It hurts me to even hear you ask the question. Very well. We gather each day in the madrasa. He comes to speak, and then leads us into the city that we might cleanse it. Could I join you then? Understand that it is a difficult path we walk. Our work demands sacrifice. I understand. Then come and meet with us. Let us see how strong you really are. Okay. Well, we have a location now. I guess it's time to go back. I thought I was done, so I got one more part of the investigation left. Let's go pickpocket. Because <laughs> I'm so bad at interrogating, I might as well just get the pickpocket over with. Your life What the? Oh, shh. Oh, shh. Oh, I ran to the wrong side. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. Damn it, that Templar really sold me out. <laughs> we found the place. It's just as you described it. I suspect he'll want to deal with this himself, and quickly. Best we say nothing to the others. A wise course of action. Oh, they're like right there. Truth be right. told, I'll be happy when this business is done. Soon, my friend, soon. Today should see the last of them put to torch. Boy, come here. You still have the letter I gave you? Yes. Go and deliver okay, it. Okay, we gotta get the letter off this guy. find the one it's meant for inside the madrasa. And it is our duty to defend it until death. I gotta be the careful because there's a lot of uh, people be here. Destroyed. Ow! Damn! Leave what the hell? <laughs> this is hard. I hate it when it's like in a crowded area because like. What is wrong with you? There's too many distractions. Back. What news, Altair? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. A most terrible crime. Now I see why Al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. Yep. That's why I'm here. He's Knowledge to hold a meeting is power, soon. right? At the Madrasa and you give it to the people. It's where I'll they go. Have the power. It's where I'll take his life. I'll leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Thanks. Interesting. I can't run or anything. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. Oh. My friend. You must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. Yeah. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No. Yeah. These bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How That's can a you dangerous accuse thing. these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This. Is How do you know that? <laughs> you are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them. <gasps> ah! Oh God. 
Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. Damn, this guy's be floating in the air too! <laughs> oh, that poor man. But the fucked up thing is, like, this is, like, something that's actually happening in reality right now. Um, a lot of... Oh, I gotta kill so many people. A lot of books are being erased in school, or the curriculum in school are, is changing because they don't want to exactly give everybody all the information. It's like anything in real life. Like I was saying earlier, it's good to have both sides, whether you agree with it or not. It's important to have the full picture so you can make an informed decision on what you're, you know, it, learning about. But knowledge is power, like I said. It goes back to the Apple of Eden, which... Whoever has it controls everything, right? So the fact that they want to remove this from the public and make it so much more harder for people to, like, acknowledge things that are around them, it gives them the advantage because then they can control the people. Tell them what's right or wrong, even if it's wrong. You don't give anybody, like, free will or understanding of what's happening in the Today world. Okay, I see one. We will at last be free! Purge yourselves of the evil spirits before they can your attack! There's two guys. Okay. Okay, but where is this thing at? There it is. Is it this guy? Why are you doing this? What have I done? How do I oh sh What are you on earth? Today is a glorious day! <laughs> I did not just kill a man in front of a guard and he didn't even notice. Anyone can do a look like a merchant. Anyone! To go such power, such influence, must be controlled. It cannot be given over to just any person. Such influence, such power should only be controlled. Did you hear what he said? Uh, Oops. Hey. Okay, well that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> For centuries, we've quietly acquiesced, agreed to believe based on nothing more than the words of men and women long since gone to dust. Damn it. And why? Why do we believe absent logic and evidence? We submit for no other reason than we are told our ancestors did the same. This. <laughs> okay, got him. You are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city oh of its God. poisoned past. This is a righteous act, and from this the guy. flames shall be born a new era. After him, my disciples. Did I not get him? Your life is now. Wait, where is he? Oh my god, who am I locked on to? What the hell? God damn it. Oh my god, I gotta redo all of this? You've got to be joking. God damn, they're in sync as well. Why? Good people of Damas, you are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. This is a righteous act. And from the flames Damn, you can see me from that corner? Era, one of truth and unity, governed by a you singular wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that other guy go? Hello? What? Yes, he runs from me. Hey. Am I supposed to chase that guy? No! Go! Oh god! Oh my god, bro, come on! <laughs> Damn it! Why have you done this? I could have had him too, I was so close! It's not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn. 
fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness. It's not an illness. It's, it's just You're what wrong. being human and that's is. That's why you must be put to rest. Yeah, Am you. I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Dude, this was the most annoying one I got to say. Holy crap, I gotta go. Okay, while we run for the, from the guards, I wanted to make a comment. Again, this guy that we just killed made, made a pretty good example of how the Templars also have script that they read from, gain knowledge from, and it kind of contradicts what Altair just said. People need writings, books, whatever, in order to learn right from wrong, right? That's how you teach people. But how can you say that when you d you know that the Templars do the same thing? They teach people right from wrong. So with your with your opinion on that matter, doesn't that contradict kind of like what you're saying? You want to take it away from the, the Templars as well, but they're doing the same thing. Oh God, I'm back. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes, Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. Thank you. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The Not a madman, just a man. Weeks. It's as if like all the land has gone mad. Person. And this is why we fight to end the war. That sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al-Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafiq. Upon you as well. Welcome home, child. Thanks, what news? I guess. <laughs> Another of the named is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask, and I will answer. Why these men, Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They no. paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that I which is severed. I hate that this guy keeps making we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon, soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all no, mankind might see the same. No, you don't, because nobody does. An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity, but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, <laughs> they would use it to rule. Yes, to reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done.
All right, we gotta take a look at one last man. You, Altair. And we'll see what happens next, because I know we're gonna go back to Desmond, and I'm really curious as to, like, what's happening with the assassins, because they said that they're coming to save him. Okay. Greetings, Altair. Hey. What news? Al Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic, he resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. East. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross northeast. overlooking the port. <laughs> and to the north, in front of St. John's north. Gate. Okay. This is most helpful. Thank my you. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafiq. I owe you an apology. For oh. what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No, it was I who erred. I believed myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. Well, you know, at least we're on neutral terms, but... Again, I don't think... I guess he would see himself above the creed because he's being arrogant, but I don't think it's arrogant for him to ask questions. I think it's right of him to ask questions. How does this happen? How? What the f What the f What? All the air can't rescue. swim? <laughs> How am I supposed to get out of here? I was just trying to update my map. Come on! <laughs> what the f? Complaints and concerns must be presented to the guild oh representative God. at the court of the chain. Failure to comply will result in imprisonment. Damn. Really? All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. They don't freaking care. Okay, wait. I don't know if I can beat him up in this. Yeah, I shouldn't. There's guards here. Damn, where can I beat him up? There's like guards in every corner. Okay, I think I have to follow him until he's like somewhere out of this area. Because like every turn I get to, there's a guard. So long as like Templars. I'm going to have to fight a bunch of people in the street. I already know it. Because like these are all these men. The roots. And I'm going to die possibly. But I got to take him somewhere here. <laughs> you made a grave God damn it. Whoa! What, you? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't! Please! Oh my god! It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah Hadin intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've no. told you all I know. All that trouble I got my ass beat? Absolutely not. not. telling him I'm here. Here we go. It's getting worse. His paranoia knows no bounds. He's doubled our shifts. No one sleeps. It wasn't so I bad until he decided to make the port his home. He's planning something at sea. That's why he came here. Planning what? What's the meaning of this? The two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting? Nothing of the sort. We were only... Only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damned assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. 
Do you find this amusing? Do you? Pull off while you can. Double the patrols. Which ones? All of them. But we don't have the men. Find them. Recall our knight from the field if you must. God damn. Okay, he's hiding in the docks. God damn it. This fucking beggar lady got me caught! You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. Damn. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. <laughs> he isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. Okay, I we gotta get that tired from of this old man. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. Gotta be careful, because again, the guards are crazy in this area. I hate it so much. Greetings, brother. Hi. How fares your search? Got I've some learned info. all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Hang on one second. How did he learn about our mission? Sure, I'm pretty sure the Templars could spread rumors about that, like, hey, everybody's dying. But is it crazy to think that somebody in the Creed is a traitor? Doesn't have to be Al Muallam, you know, it could be anybody else. What if? somebody was feeding the templars information because again everybody wants to be right in this templars the assassins they want to say that they're the good guys so it literally could be anybody be on your guard Altair. i have of to course, be careful Rafiki, but i think it will be to my advantage fear will weaken him eh, yeah i mean it's kind of true it's just the problem is that there's That's so many guards in this map <laughs> He's in the port, so that means he's got to be by- Oh, damn, he's right there. You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most what? certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Oh, this is the guy who was freaking Perhaps. out earlier. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! He's paranoid. <laughs> if they come out the air is right, leader, it makes him weak. It is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I I don't understand why why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, okay, then surely the creator mistake. will provide for you! Let him stay my hand! You've gone mad! Can I, like, get in here? Will none of you come forward to stop I him? will! He Let me! poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. It seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Arkle! Oh! Jesus! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Okay. Persistent bastards. Now uh, get back to work. This man has got horns on his helmet. 
what? Oh, does that mean I can't like, you know, use the blade? Oh dear, that poor guy. Okay, hang on, where are you going? I might have to take this one slow because we're at the port and basically all his men are here, right? Because he's so paranoid. Oh my god, they're right behind me! F you know what? Hit high. <laughs> Listen, okay? I gotta get rid of these guards and then make it to the other side because he's on the big boat. This guy. Okay, I, I I died here so many times. I do recall this. So, Let's see if I can get this guy while he's like. Maybe. Oh wait, he's dumb. He can't see me. Okay, that kind of works. All right, so he's on that boat, I think. All right. <laughs> Please don't make me fall. What the hell? He's just yelling. Damn, he's really paranoid. In a sense, I don't really blame him because, like, I kind of get why. Okay, where's this dude exactly? Wait, that's him right there. No! 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 Damn it! I think I don't have time for these guys. Where'd he go? Okay. I'll tell you, please. Where the f is this guy going? Wait! <laughs> At least I got to use my blade properly! You are he got afraid. stuck! Of course I am afraid. But you'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You that don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof the, of what? The, the Eden. That this Eden. life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then. And tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool, from the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds. He's like, what? Murdered who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. Same with same Altair. You. Yeah, exactly. The same thing. I'm gonna run for it. Excuse me. God, bro, I need to get out of this area. Altair, hey. <laughs> you caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. 
of this and other things. He's like, yeah, Is I have a couple right, of questions. You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. No, you're Talk okay. To me then. Let me help. I kind of like him. I need like to make him. sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? Yeah. You feel something for them. How? No. Ah, my friend. It's more like what they say. You're not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. He can't yes. because he's lying. Perhaps. Or Thank at least, you, like, not telling the truth. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Oh. Not a lot of time, Vic. Understand this narrow bond. Wherever it's hidden, time to retrieve it. Working on And when it's done, he'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. What is that? I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Okay. Hey, Lucy. Who was the other guy he was talking to? Lucy? I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope, it's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I'm pretty it... sure you should shut up. You ready <laughs> to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten a lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. Yeah, they're just gonna force How? them. The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stillman? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So, what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Masayef, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what accident? are they hoping for me, you know, for my ancestor, to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Uh... Is there a problem, Miss No, Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then where are the files? Damn. Is that all we could talk I've about? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean? Everything's Denver. It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Oh. Uh, okay. I think that's all I can talk to her about. Can I use the pen? That we nibbed from um, the doctor? No? Okay, guys, I guess I'm going to end this episode right here. I think the next one will be the finale because we're getting pretty close to the end given how all the characters are talking. So I hope the truth will come out. But we need to find, I guess, another location. There's multiple Edens. I don't know why. I guess I remembered this series as only having one piece of Eden, like one apple. I didn't think there were multiple. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. But yeah, it seems like there's more out there. And that's what they want. They want Altair to tell them where the rest of them are. Which makes me question is like, what happened to Al? You know, like, where did he go? <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Assassin's Creed, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Assassin's Creed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!